Professor Jiman Lopo. Alright, good morning to all. No? So, today's class, I will discuss about your cost volume profit analysis. Okay. So, what do you mean here of your cost volume profit analysis? So, we are now in this chapter 3. Alright, so when you say about cost volume profit analysis, it is the study of the effect of the cost changes no? and the volume on the company's profit. Meaning to say, class, you have your cost. Ano yung cost? The variable and fix. Ano yung volume? Your unit sold or unit produced. What is your profit? The profit here is basically your sales minus variable cost is equals to your contribution margin and the CM minus your fixed cost and you have your net income. Alright, very good. That's, that's, that's your CVP analysis. Okay, so what would be the consideration, no? So particularly about the CVP analysis. Alright, so when you say about the CVP analysis, uh, it involves consideration of the interrelationship among the following components. So, ano yung mga components natin class? Number one, you have your what you call volume, alright? Or activity level, you have here what you call the unit selling price, the variable cost per unit, and the total fixed cost, and the last one is all about the sales mix. Please take note of the variable cost per unit and your total fixed cost. Ano bang sinabi ko last time? When you say about variable cost per unit and total fixed cost, it will remain the same regardless of the activity level. Kaya always given yan, no? The variable cost per unit and your total fixed cost. Because variable cost per unit and total fixed cost will remain the same regardless of the activity level. Okay. We go to these assumptions, no? The following are the assumptions that will underline its CVP components or applications. <coughs> Excuse me. Number one, the behavior thou of your cost and revenue should be linear, not throughout the relevant range of the activity index. Yes. And number two, as discussed also, all costs can be classified as either variable or fixed. And number three, changes in the activity level are the only factors that will affect your cost meaning class only the sales all right and number four all units produced are sold so dapat lahat ng napuproduce natin ay ating ibibenta and the last one is when more than one type of product is sold total sales will be a constant sales mix so, to class, ha, we will discuss more about sales mix soon Right, so we will discuss sales mix soon. Okay. Now, for example, uh, this is also one no? uh, of the criteria or to know. No? In the CVP analysis application, the term cost includes manufacturing cost plus selling and administrative expenses. Okay, Mamaya, we will discuss also that one. No? We will use this video company as an example. Okay. Again, always given is the unit selling price of 500. Always given also is the unit variable cost. Meaning class, selling price minus variable cost per unit is your contribution margin. Very good. And the last one is about total monthly fixed cost. So again, ha? my question sa inyo class. Again, bakit nga always given? is your selling price and variable cost per unit and also the monthly fixed cost because all of this will remain the same or will remain constant okay regardless of the activity level not the variable cost total not the fixed cost per unit very good uh, next one tayo class next one is all about uh, indicate the meaning of Contribution margin. Uh, ano bang ibig sabihin ng contribution margin? Okay. When you say about contribution margin, it can be expressed in terms of total, sales, 
minus total variable cost is equal to the CM total. It can be expressed also in terms of per unit by selling price minus variable cost per unit. You have your contribution margin. Also in terms of the percentage, 100% always is your sales. Variable cost depende, no? The amount of the variable cost, just divide it by your, uh, just divide it by your sales. You have your, you have your variable cost uh, ratio. Just minus the two, you have your contribution margin ratio. Alright. Ito klas, ha? Ito yung mga sample niya, no? One of the key relationship in terms of the CVP is your contribution margin. Alright. So, contribution margin is the amount of revenue remaining after deducting your variable cost. Alright. The CM is then available to cover the fixed cost and to contribute for the net income. So, what if 1,000 is their volume? So, just multiply it by the selling price. So, in terms of total, 500,000 minus 300, you have 200,000. Okay? Also, it can be expressed in terms of per unit by just uh, deducting the unit selling price minus our variable cost per unit para makuha natin yung contribution margin per unit. Alright. Also, in terms of in terms of percentage, how do we compute for the percentage? 100% always is your sales. Okay? While the variable cost, again, it would depend on the amount. Just divide it by, this, by the selling price or the sales. Ito naman is we compute for the CM at 200 divided by 500. The CM here is at 40%. So for sure, 60% is your uh, variable cost. All right, very good. Next one. Okay. Next one naman is all about your break-even point. Uh, ano bang ibig sabihin test ng break-even point? When you say about break-even point, sales is equals to var, uh, total cost. What else? Sales is equals to variable cost plus fixed cost. What else? Sales minus total cost is equals to zero. Okay? Four, sales minus variable cost plus fixed cost is equal to zero. What else? CM minus uh, CM is equal to the fixed cost. Or CM minus fixed cost is equal to zero. Ano ibig sabihin ng break-even? Break-even point is that net income is zero. Very good, class. Alright. So, break-even point is a key relationship in the CVP analysis. is also known as the break-even analysis. Okay? Which is the level of the activity where total revenues equals your total cost, both your fixed and your variable. Since again, you have no net income, zero is your net income, it involves when the break-even analysis is, is the objective of it. No? And the uh, it is what you call break-even. There's no net income, there's no net loss, meaning nagpagod ka lang. That's the meaning of your break-even analysis. Okay. In terms of the break-even analysis, it, it can be expressed in terms of, if you're a mathematician, it can be expressed in terms of a mathematical equation or also using your contribution uh, margin. Mamaya class, we will discuss, I will discuss also about the shortcut and the long cut no, in terms of the contribution margin. And the last one is about the CVP graph. Okay. The break-even point now can be expressed in either sales in dollars or in sales in units. So, we'll discuss later about that one. Okay. Again, the formula, break-even sales is equals to variable cost plus your fixed cost. Uh, ito class ay very relevant kung, kung ang gagamitin natin ay ano, uh, mathematics. Na. Okay. Yan. The break-even point in dollars is found by expressing the variable cost as the percentage of unit selling price. Okay. Ayan. So, for example, class, the Vargo, uh, Vargo percentage of the 60%, uh, 
uh, 300 divided by 500, you have 60%. And the sales naman is at 500,000 for Vargo to break even. The competition to determine the break even is that x x is at 100 percent is equals to 60 percent 60 percent is the variable cost ratio plus you have 200,000 as your fixed cost all right mo lang sa kabila yung point 60 since x is at 100 percent 100 minus 60 you have point 40 x is equals to 200,000 your x here is at 500,000 ano bang ibig sabihin plus nito later uh we compute first for the per unit naman so the break even in units can be computed directly from mat from mathematical equation by using the selling price minus variable cost per unit. Okay, uh, the formula again: break even sales, which is at uh, selling price x minus 300 x, which is the variable cost per unit plus your fixed cost. Uh, Makano yung ating uh, sales? One thousand. Okay. Uh, ano bang ibig sabi ni to class kanina? We have a 500,000 pesos and we have also 1,000 in units. Uh, anong ibig sabihin yan? Meaning to say, if you sell 1,000 units uh, in terms of your of your uh, units, sorry, or, or binenta mo ng 1,000 units, or if you have 500,000 pesos, siguradong sigurado that you have zero net income. Nagpagod ka lang, class. Okay. What would be your uh, objective? Your objective is to sell it or to sell more than 1,000 units or to sell or, or to have 500,000 pesos. Kasi pag hindi, sigurado, ikaw ay uh, ano, break even. Less than 1,000 units or less than naman 500,000, sigurado naman, you have a net loss. Very good class. Okay, at least you, you can be able to answer that one. Huh? Okay, next one. Uh, ito naman class, pwede mo naman gawin through uh, no, through long cut. How do we compute for the long cut in uh, computing for our break even? Net income is to put here zero. Magkano ba yung fixed cost? The fixed cost is at 200,000. So, zero is your net income. Then, you have 200,000. Magkano yung CM? Malamang, also at 200,000. So, 200,000 is at 40% of your sales. Just divide it. And the answer here is at 500,000. Same na yan kanina. Kaya ito ay more on long cut. Yes. Okay? It can also be expressed in terms of uh, formula. Ano yung formula class? in terms of computing for the break even based on per unit the formula here is fixed cost total divided by contribution margin per unit why because you are computing for a per unit okay so what a problem fixed cost divided by cm per unit and the answer here is also at 1000 same na same lang okay also in terms of percentage all right uh, pag class naman percentage, the formula here is fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio which is at 200,000 divided by at 40%. And the answer here is at 800, uh, 500,000. So same lang kanina that you have a 500,000. So many class, depende yan sa inyo if you will do mathematics or if you will do long cut or if you can do short cut. It will depend on you as long as you have the correct answer. <laughs> Siyempre, uh, that's our main goal. Alright, also, it uh, it can be expressed also in terms of your graph. Okay? So, break-even point, using the graphic representation or presentation, the effective way to derive the break-even point is to prepare a break-even graph. Okay, how do we do that? The graph is referred to as a cost volume or the CPP graph. Uh, it shows the cost, the volume, and our profit. So, ito yung class, mga assumptions, no? In terms of the break-even point, number one. Ah, sorry, not assumptions. Steps on how you will be able uh, to construct a graph. Number one, plot 
the total revenue uh, line starting at the zero activity level. Okay? Number two. So number two, plot the total line fixed cost by a uh, 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 line horizontal, and number three, plot the total cost line starting at the fixed cost line or at zero. Okay, and number four, determine the break-even point you now from the intersection of the total cost line. O, para maintindihan class, ito lang naman yun, no? yung graph niya. Alright, so the CVP graph. Alright, so paano yung CVP graph? Okay. In this graph, to the right, sales volume, all right, uh, the access needs to extend to the maximum, all right, uh, both total revenues and total fixed costs, okay. So, yan class, ang pag-compute natin, no? particularly in terms of it. So, meaning class, if you notice, uh, 500 is your, uh, your break-even point, no? And then, the unit sales naman is worth uh, 1,000. Okay? So, if you notice, class, the 500 here is your uh, break-even uh, break point. And that's the uh, the middle of it, no? Is your break-even. Yes. Meaning to say, class, if you have 500 as the break-even as, as break point, less than 500 is you have a net loss. Kaya nga, di ba, mayroon dito tinatawag na lost area. How about naman in terms of your profit area? So, in terms of your profit area, is about, no, uh, uh, more than 500 and more than 1,000 is you have what you call a uh, uh, profit area. So, you have a profit area. So, yun ang naman class, ang ibig sabihin class ng ating graph. Okay, next one. Next one is all about our MOS and you have what you call margin of safety. Okay. Define the margin of safety uh, formulas for computing it. Okay. So, MOS or margin of safety is another relationship uh, that may be calculated in terms of uh, your CVP analysis. Okay. So, what is your uh, MOS? No? So, when you say about margin of safety, it is the difference lang between your actual sales and your expected sales. Yan. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng margin of safety. Bakit less? Since the formula is the actual sales and expected sales, alright? Meaning, you have your net income. Tama? Yes. How about in terms of the break-even sales? You have zero net income. Very good. So, meaning to say, the difference between your actual sales and the break-even sales is the breathing room or the caution that the management has in order to break even. Diba? Yes, class. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng margin of safety. Okay? Yan. In terms of the MOS, it can be expressed in terms of total. So, again, the formula here is actual sales minus the break-even. Sales is equals to the margin of safety in, in, in peso. So, what if your actual sales is at uh, 750 and the break-even point naman is at uh, 500? Magkano yung margin of safety natin? Very good, 250. Next one naman, it can be expressed in terms of uh, ratio. How do we compute for the ratio? Again, uh, always 100% is our 
100% always is our actual sales and expected sales. So, let's, div let's divide lang, no? Margin of safety divided by your actual or expected sales. And you have now your MOS. MOS is at 33%. Okay, very good. Next one. Next one is all about sales required to earn a target profit. Ito naman class ay, hindi naman lahat ng bagay ay tayo ay break even. No? Kailangan naman natin magkaroon ng target net income. Okay. So, meaning to say, in terms of the planning, we will need to, to have a target net profit or what you call net income. So, management uh, usually set an income objective, no? for our individual product lines. Okay. So, in class, yung ating gagawin, no? Alright. The objective is also known as your target net profit or what you call target net income. It is expressly or extremely useful to the management, okay? Because it indicates the sales necessary to achieve the specified level of sales or indicate the sales okay the amount of sales necessary to achieve the target that income can be determined from each approaches in computing for our break even again along my formula class and break even fixed cost divided by our cm per unit if it is a per, uh, per unit units in a month i in peso if you have a cm percentage okay so, that's your target net income. So, how do we compute again? Using the mathematics. No? We know that the break-even point has no profit, but now you have a target profit. The formula now is required sales is equal to the variable cost plus your fixed cost plus your target net income. Yes. No? Required sales may be expressed in either sales in dollars or in sales in units. So, in terms of Mathematics, and in formula, sales at 100% is equals to 60% of the variable cost plus your uh, fixed cost of 200,000 plus 120 as your target net profit. So, meaning to say 0.40x, okay, is equals to 320. How do we compute for the 320? 200 plus 120. So, how much would be the X? X here is at 800,000. Okay? So, our X here is worth 800,000. How about in terms of per unit? 800,000 divided by 500 and you have a 1,600. And then 1,600, that would be your units. Okay? Sorry, Maliana, it should be 1,600, not in dollars, no? It should be in units, okay? So, di ba kanina class, if you notice, if you sell 500,000 pesos or in dollars, you have zero net income. Ito naman class, if you sell 1,600 units, you have naman, uh, you have a, a, a sales, no? How much? Your, your, your sales is uh, sorry your 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 target profit is worth 120,000 very good class that's class our objective our objective is to sell our uh, is uh, to have 800,000 pesos and to have or to sell 1,600 units in order for us to break even very good also it can be also expressed in terms of uh formula so how do you compute for the formula uh, required sales all right uh, is equals to the fixed cost plus our target net income divided by our contribution margin per, per unit okay uh, uh, in terms of the fixed cost and target net income sorry malito formula it should be uh, 800,000, uh, sorry, 320,000 divided by 40%. The answer here is at 800,000. Again, but the formula is correct. Face cost plus target net income divided by the CM ratio 
ang ating sales ay at 800,000. All right. Same also, 'di ba? In terms of your graph, same yung kanina. Okay? Uh, yung 'di ba, yung break even point at 500 and also at uh, if I remember at 1,000. So more than that, more than that is you have a profit. Less than that is you have a net loss. Kaya nga, 'di ba? Ang ating benta na ngayon ay at 800,000. So meaning lumagpas tayo. And also our units is now 1,600. Yeah, very good. So meaning to say you have a net income already. Okay. So we go now to this uh, uh, parang ano siya, parang mini MBA or uh, to, uh, to be able for us to explain well, no? Or to explain more about our CVP analysis. Okay. CVP analysis can be used in responding to this change and the original VCR sales and the cost data for Vargo Video Company are shown below. So you have your unit selling price of 500, unit variable cost of 300, fixed cost naman is 200 and break even sales is at 500 or at 1000. So please take note of this class. Case number 1. What if someone or supplier gave you a 10% discount on the selling price and the variable cost per unit and the fixed cost will remain the same what will happen to your break even sales malamang 500 is your previous selling price it will now become 450 how much now would be your cm 450 minus 300 you have now 150 as your contribution margin okay formula Fixed cost of two hundred thousand, just divided by one fifty, and the answer is at one thousand three hundred thirty-three units. Question class: If you have one three 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 units of break-even point, accept or reject. Kanina, please take nota. You have only one thousand units to break even. Very good. This case number one should be rejected. Because you have an additional three hundred thirty-three to break even, de ba? Oh, kani one thousand lang, na ito yon de ba? One thousand lang. But now, do magdag pa lang three hundred thirty-three because of the discount. Reject this case number one. Case number two. Management invests in a robotic industry that will significantly lower the amount of direct laborers. Direct laborers, sorry. Direct labor, fixed cost will increase naman because you have a robotic preventive maintenance. But the variable cost per unit will decrease by 30%. What will be the effect of this one? Equipment. Malamang fixed cost will increase because of the robotic or preventive maintenance. 200,000 times 30% or just 200,000 times 1.30. And the answer here is at 260. Variable cost per unit naman will decrease from 300 to 210. It will decrease by thirty percent. Makana rin break even natin. Fixed cost of two sixty, bagong fixed cost, divided by five hundred minus two ten, so you have two ninety as your CM. Makana rin ating break even nine hundred. Question class. Case number two. Since you have nine hundred units as your break even, versus one thousand units in the break even kanina, accept or reject. Very good class. It is now to be accepted. Why to be accepted? Because you have you have only or you will only sell nine hundred units. Para maging or para makaroon tayo ng break even point or 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 to break even. Okay, very good. At least you can you can be able to understand na. Next one. An increase. Ah, case number three. An increase in the price of the raw materials will increase the unit variable cost of VCRs by an estimated twenty-five pesos. So, meaning, class, you will increase the variable cost by twenty-five. Management, man, is striving to hold the line on the selling price of the VCRs. So, remain the same lang yung ating selling price down, and plans also to have cost-cutting program that will save seventeen-five. From two hundred, you have now one hundred eighty-two five hundred in terms of your fixed cost. 
Uh, presently class, you have 80,000 net income and you sell it at uh, by 1 for sorry you have a target net income of 80 pero binebenta mo lang at 1 for PCRs okay so what will what increase in sales will be needed to maintain the same level of net income so the variable cost per unit increases malamang at uh, from 300 to 325 but your fixed cost will decrease okay uh, you have uh, 82,500. Because of the change in the variable cost, the variable cost becomes 65%. Okay? So, 325 divided by 500. 500 is your selling price. So, 0.65 now would be your new uh, variable cost ratio, while 35% naman is the CM ratio. Using this equation to target net income, it requires a calculated to the 750. So, again, Required sales is X is equals to variable cost at 0.65 plus fixed cost of 182,500 plus 80. Makano lahat? So, ilagay mo sa kabila 0.35 is your CM. So, X is equals to 750. So, that's your case number 3. How about in terms of per unit? 750 divided by 3, uh, 500 and the answer is at 1,5. Okay. Question. Ngayon class, ang ibibenta na natin ay 1.5 to generate 120. E yung previous is, uh, yung previous ay you have a net income of 80 and you will earn a 1,400. Uh, ito, itong bago, 1.5 para magkaroon tayo ng 80. Dati, 1.4 para magkaroon tayo ng 80. Accept or reject? Very good it is to be rejected kasi kanina ang bebenta lang natin ay 1,400 VCRs at 80 ngayon tumaas pa ng 100 okay very good class at least you, can, you will be able uh, you can be able to understand this one okay last topic tayo or last subtopic is all about the features of the CBP income statement alright uh, in the CBP income statement it classifies costs and expenses as a variable and fixed. It specifically reports contribution margin in the body of a statement. So it is also known as contribution margin format. And please take note of the last bullet. This format is only for internal management use only. Yes, class. Okay? Only for internal reporting purpose only. Kaya nga, diba, if you notice, Cost of sales, selling price, admin, diba? they are all part of uh, your your fin act no? in computing for your net income. But in terms of this, uh, uh, in terms of this uh, CVP format, uh, the 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 cost of good cost of sales, selling, and admin are to be classified as variable or fixed. All right. So, the CVP income statement and traditional income statement based on the data are shown side by side. Note that the net income is the same. Yes, if you have 120,000 in your FIN Act, you have also 120 naman in your MAN Act as your internal business processes or what you call your uh, uh, contribution margin format. Okay, next one. Also, in terms of traditional statement, it shows your gross profit. Also, you have your contribution margin per unit. Alright. Ito yung class, no? So, uh, traditional versus our income statement. Or income statement in the CVP. Tanan yung class. Same na same lang yung formula. Or same na same lang yung net income. Okay? Traditional to your CVP, but please take note of your gross uh, of your cost of sales. It can be classified as variable or fixed. Ganon din naman sa, uh, sa ating selling or admin or SGNA. Okay, so mini class you will just classify if it is part of the variable and fixed. So again, thank you very much, and hope to see you soon when I'll when I will discuss about variable and absorption costing. Again, thank you and see you all. Bye-bye.